Have you ever wondered how thousands of birds move in amazing patterns like this? Ever watched fish schooling and wondered how they coordinate their movements? When you're looking at a flock of birds or a school of fish, you're watching the behavior of a system of many interacting parts. In this case, individual birds or individual fish are the parts. Systems where unexpected patterns emerge as a result of many individual parts interacting are called complex systems. The study of complex systems has recently been recognized as a new type of science. The living world is a great place to find examples of complex systems, where the actions of individuals turn into the behaviors of a group. This bird flock is an example of a complex system in action. To understand how any complex system works, it's important to answer two basic questions. How do each of the parts of the system behave? For example, how does each bird in a flock behave? And how do the parts act together to form the behavior of the whole system? For example, how do individual birds in a flock act together to form beautiful flying patterns? Let's look at the first question. How does each bird in the flock behave? Believe it or not, every bird in the flock is following the same three simple rules. Stay close to, but don't bump into the birds around me. Fly as fast as the birds near me, and move towards the center of the group. Now, for the second question. How do the individual birds in a flock act together to form these beautiful flying patterns? You might think there is one leader bird who is somehow sending messages to tell other birds in the flock where to fly, but really it's much less complicated than that. When hundreds or thousands of birds each follow the same three rules, amazing flocking patterns emerge. Sometimes, even if you can figure out how each individual in a complex system behaves, it's really hard to predict how a system as a whole will behave or what types of patterns will emerge when many individuals are all acting at the same time. This is where the power of computer simulations comes in. Agent-based computer models and simulations are great tools to visualize and explore group behaviors. For example, in this simulation of fish interacting with algae in a pond, every yellow fish you see is programmed to follow the same simple rules for movement getting energy by eating algae, reproduction, and death. The algae is also programmed to follow simple rules for reproduction and death. Once the behavior of these two types of individuals and the interactions between them has been programmed, the simulation can then populate a virtual world with tens, hundreds, or even thousands of fish and algae all following their assigned rules at the same time. Using computer models like this helps people observe what happens at the level of the system, or in this case, the simulated ecosystem.